So the father of the shooter who murdered 49 innocent people, sitting right behind the Democratic presidential nominee, Sadiq Mateen, clapping along with Hillary Clinton supporters at a rally in Florida, while one of the victims of the Orlando shooting was directly across from him. Jacoby Sabalo joins me now. I, thank you for joining us. I, I just want to set the scene for our viewers. So, I mean, you were obviously there that night. You saw the shooter twice, um, once inside the club, once again when you went to get your car. You, you heard the shooting as you were out by your car. Um, you're a Hillary Clinton supporter. You, a, a friend of yours who was also at the shooting told you about this fundraising event and about the rally and invited you to go saying that the campaign wanted survivors of the Pulse shooting to be there and wanted to hear about your experience. Given all of that, how did you feel when you found out that the father of the shooter was there as well? I was, and I still am, um, very upset. Um, I'm not upset at the campaign. I'm more upset at the fact that he was there just because um, us Pulse survivors are still trying to heal from this incident that happened two months ago. So I just feel like it's too soon for him to, you know, be in, an, in Orlando or just in, you know, I just think it's too soon. So I'm just a little outraged that he would be there, to be honest. How? I didn't think, you know, he should have been there. I, I mean, is it, it's hard to understand how he was there and how he was in a position of, of such prominence, because you, even for security reasons, just they know sort of who is right there around Hillary Clinton. Do you think that it's possible, given that you all were invited as survivors of the incident, that maybe they mm -hmm. lumped him in with the other survivors? Honestly, it's hard to tell. Um, I really wouldn't know, but I definitely know that someone had to have invited him yeah. um, for him to be there because of the fact that, you know, he lives two hours away and it was the same thing on the Pulse um, shooting that night. His son drove two hours away to the club. So I think he got invited by someone. I just don't know by who, to be honest with you. Uh, he, he's, he is the father of the victim, obviously, but he also posted a video condemning homosexuality the day after the shooting. Uh, how does it make you feel yeah. about Hillary Clinton that he's somebody who's there supporting her and he's holding up a sign, you know, that says that he likes her positions on national security? I mean, does, how does that make you feel about her positions on national security if somebody who advocates this type of behavior is also a fan? Not too happy, um, especially because I met her and it was really nice to take a picture with her. It was nice to talk to her. And, um, you, know, it w you know, we had a good, like, five, ten minutes. So for me to find out that um, he was there and um, he attended and he's a Clinton fan, um, it just really made me outraged and um, a little sick to my stomach because I didn't, don't want to be around him or did want to be around him in the room. Um, at the time, you know, I wasn't aware. Um, if I was aware, then I probably wouldn't have gone, to be honest with you, just yeah. because I wouldn't want to be around anybody that has a family sure. member that killed innocent people that had right. nothing to do with anything. How, so. how are you doing? How are you recovering? I'm doing okay. Um, I still have a lot of nightmares. Um, I'm still traumatized by the situation. And honestly, I still see the gunman's face image in my brain every time that I have a nightmare because I saw him um, before he created the massacre. So oh. I'm, I'm dealing with it, you know. I'm trying my hardest. It's, it's hard. Jacoby, so. our, our thoughts and prayers are with you, and thank you so much for coming on. Best wishes to you.